Hey guys! So today's video is going to be a tutorial for this soft cut crease look. This adds a little bit of drama into your makeup, but as you can see, I tried to use soft colors and just do more of a blended application so that it's not too in your face. And I thought if you guys were going to try out a look like this, you might want to start with more of an everyday kind of softer version of this look. So that's why I wanted to do this video for you guys today. So if you want to see how I did it, then just keep on watching. So getting started, I've already applied my foundation and filled in my eyebrows also. So to start off this look, I'm going to be taking a mixture of MAC Soft Brown and Wedge Eyeshadows. And I'm just going to apply those two colors just above the crease, blending them up and outwards with a fluffier crease brush. So once I've applied my transition shade, I'm going to grab my Dark Rose Palette by BH Cosmetics. And this is a gorgeous palette. It has 12 shadows, 3 blushes, and a liquid liner. So it's really versatile too because it has a variety of warm and cool shadows and shimmers and mattes. So I'm going to mix together these two browns. One is a little bit shimmery and the other one's almost like a matte purpley brown. And I'm taking a precise brush and just tracing along my crease area. I'm not bringing it too far in, but I want to make a really defined line just like so. And then once I've done that, I'm even going to pull it out just to kind of wing that line out a bit. You just want to do this very softly and very gently and really take your time with this step. I'm actually using a teeny tiny shader brush, but you could even use like an eyeliner, an angled eyeliner brush or something like that. Now I'm going to pick up this Wild Child palette from BH Cosmetics. And this has nine baked eyeshadows and they're really, really gorgeous and really highly pigmented also. So I'm going to take this cooler brown on a smaller fluffy brush and you want to pick something that you can blend a tiny area with that's going to be nice and precise. Anything small and fluffy should do the trick. So I'm just using that color to blend upwards and kind of just diffuse the top edge of that harsher line that we drew before and also just winging it out a little bit in the outer corner too. And you can actually apply these shadows wet or dry. I'm opting to apply them dry for this look just because I do want it to be a little bit of a softer appearance to the shadows. And if you're interested in any of the BH Cosmetics products that I'm using in this look today, BH was kind enough to provide some discount codes, which I will link to in the info box down below. So now I'm going to pick up this Dusty Rose. This is actually a blush color from that same Dark Rose palette. And I just want to get that on a crease brush and use it to add some rosiness into the look and further blend everything out. So now I just want to make that line a little bit more crisp. So I'm going to take this cream eyeshadow in Gold Dust by Motives Cosmetics. And it never fails. I always throw a brush across the room by accident in every tutorial. So here I'm just applying that cream shadow with a flat concealer brush to the lid. And that's really going to help to sharpen up the crease line that we have down and also just really make it look a lot more crisp and clean. And I'm also flicking that outwards like we did with the brown shades. If you would use like a white eyeshadow base or a white cream shadow, this would make it pop even more and be even more defined. But this one again is just a little bit more of a shimmer to it. It gives a bit of a softer look. So this is actually just going to be our base. I want my lid color to be a little bit more pink. So I'm going to go back to that Wild Child palette and pick up this really pretty shimmery blush pink color and just start packing that right on top just exactly over top of where we put the cream shadow and just being really careful not to mess up our crease line too much. As you can see, it is a little bit softer, which is what we wanted, but you still want that separation between the two colors. And I'm following that outwards on the outer corner of my eye. Now I'm going back to one of the warm brown shadows that I used before and I'm just taking that, actually it's a different brush than I used for the crease line, but it's a similar smaller shader brush. I'm just going to fill in the outer corner of my lower lash line and kind of wing out the lower lash line just so that it mirrors the shape of our crease. And then I'm going to mix together these two colors in the Wild Child palette and just 
Blend out the lower lash line and kind of continue it all the way in with a bit of a fluffier brush. You just want to make sure to really buff out that line and diffuse it. And then I'm going to take this shimmery white shadow and use that to highlight my inner tear ducts. And then we're pretty much almost done with the eye makeup. I just want to use my MAC Prep and Prime highlighting pen in Light Boost just to clean up my under eye area and sharpen the outer corner of my makeup. So once I've blended that product in, I'm gonna set it with the lighter side of my NARS Olympia Contour Blush, and then I'm gonna go on to set my foundation in one second with the Benefit Hello Flawless Powder in Never Settle Petal. I'm just dusting that all over. So then I'm gonna reach for the BH Liquid Liner from the Dark Rose Palette, and this is kind of like a little marker, a little eyeliner pen, which makes it a bit easier because you kind of want to do the wing for your eyeliner a little bit lower than it normally would be because you still want to see that lighter color in between the crease and the eyeliner. So I'm actually just pulling out a line straight from where my lower lash line would continue upwards, and that's going to make sure that you can still see your cut crease in your makeup. So I'm just thickening that up until I get it to the desired intensity that I'm looking for. And then I'm going to take my Benefit Fair Real Mascara and just comb that really quickly through my lashes. And before I pop on my falsies, I'm going to use my Anastasia Covet, Covet <laughs> Waterproof Eyeliner. And this is just in a black color. And I'm kind of filling in just that very outer corner of my eye just to make the color look like it continues all the way around. Then I'm going to apply my House of Lashes, Iconic Lashes. I usually wear these with a darker lid, like a darker eye look, but I wanted to try them out with this look today. So moving on, not sure exactly what's going on here, but now I'm going to bronze my skin using the Skinny Dip Bronzer by Bare Minerals. And I'm just applying that with a fluffy paddle brush to the hollows of my cheeks. And then I always like to go around my forehead and my hairline with my bronzer as well. So now to contour and highlight, I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics Forever Nude Sculpt and Glow Palette. And this is in the light medium shade. So I'm going to be taking that center color right here on a tinier kabuki shaped brush and just applying that, just wrapping it around my cheekbones to get more of a defined look to my cheekbones. I'm also going to contour my nose with that and try not to poke myself in the eye with my brush. And also go around a bit of a smaller area this time around my hairline. And I'm thinking I could definitely use a little color on those cheeks. So I'm going to pick up the pretty pink blush shade from that palette and apply that right to the apples of my cheeks. And sometimes I feel like it definitely does help me to smile to find the apples of my cheeks. No shame in my game. Then I'm going to go back in with the highlighter. So I'm going to sweep that across my cheekbones for a pretty highlighted glow. You can see how gorgeous that color is. Then I'm going to take off whatever lip color I was wearing here and apply my MAC Boldly Bare Lip Pencil to my lips. I'm just going to quickly fill them in with that color. It's like a neutral pink shade. And on top of that, I'm going to layer this BH Cosmetics Color Lock Long Lasting Matte Lipstick in the color Charming, which is a bit of a lighter neutral pink this time, but it goes on really creamy as you can see. So I'm applying that to the center part of my lips, and then I just want to use a lighter gloss on top. So I'm going to take this beautiful Beauty Addicts Lip Gloss in the color Naked. I'm applying that right on top and then voila, the look is complete. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you try out this soft cut crease look at home. It's just something fun that you can try out when you feel like doing something a bit different with your makeup. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!